Hey, welcome back, Roller Beaters. Well, I went and I did it again. I think I did it again. I went and I bought another pair of old, vintage, classic roller blades for me to unbox. And what's really cool this time is that we have the original box of these 20-year-old Kevin Gillen USD Cyrus skates. So it's gonna be really neat unboxing those. So I'm really excited to check those out. Shout out to Ruben on eBay for being a fantastic seller. So I did a little bit of research because I don't know a whole lot about these skates. So I went over to Back to Blading, shout out Law over there at Back to Blading. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, make sure to do that. Link down in the description below. He has a great stream where he talked a lot about the history of the Cyrus. It was released right around 2000 and he actually got a prototype pair, which was really cool to hear about. But I guess these came right after the, you know, wildly successful, uh, wildly popular classic throne skate. And so USD created this mold from the ground up. So there were a lot of different like color combinations, a lot of different pro skates. Brian Shima had a pair, Dustin Latimer, John Julio, and I'm sure plenty more, obviously Kevin Gillen, because I bought those. I never personally knew anyone that skated these at the time I was skating back in the day. I know Sam, oh, the friend of the channel here, uh, Sam Brownlee had a pair back in the day as well, but I'm excited to take a look at these because I don't think I've ever seen them up in person, at least not up close. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break these things open and take a look. But before we do that, if you do like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you do like rollerblading content, it helps get rollerblading out to more people here on YouTube. And with that, let's go ahead and open these things up. That's what I was super amped about with this is because it actually comes in the original box, which is super, super sick. 3D Bublax insole system. High speed stuff going on right there, dude. 3D Bublax. Everyone had their uh, signature sort of like logo. Okay, well, let's go ahead and unbox them. Oh, it just comes straight up off. Maybe it does. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Man, oh man. Let's go, dude. These things are mint with the metal grind plates. Dude, let's go. So these are the non-UFS version, from what I can tell anyway. Yeah, definitely non-UFS. Law was saying that UFS, I should have done my homework a little bit more, but that UFS really became a thing in, I think he said 2003. So these appear to be pre-UFS, certainly. So, man, these are, these are good looking skates, man. Honestly, I like the gray, the very simple gray with the black, with the white, and the, of course, you know, you can't help but have the additional kind of unnecessary, but necessary for style, fat tongue, additional tongue of the day. That was it back in the day, so. Dude, these things are perfect, perfect. And Law was saying, well, you have these four replaceable individual kind of sole sliders, sole plates, whatever you wanna call those. Looks like a replaceable H block in there with Senate, interesting. So I guess these are Senate non-UFS frames with some Kaiser grind plates, metal grind plates there. I remember, they had Liberty Spike wheels. I don't think these are those, but seems like a similar concept. And these look like the OEM or the, the original Senate Kevin Gillen wheels, from what I can tell. What are the specs on these? 55? These are 55s? 55 millimeter 88A wheels, which you can tell, I mean, yeah, man, I don't know if it almost, you can still see, I don't want to say like poor lines, but you can tell the, the original ridges and everything are, are on here. Very interesting lacing system that they have here where it comes up into this sort of like top lacing point. It seems like it would be a hot spot for wear and tear. The eyelets, pretty sick little USD eyelets if you can see them. They have little USD like logos on there. Looks like, I'm not even sure, I guess you could get, oh, I guess they are removable, okay. Not sure why they have all this craziness going. I'll definitely make sure to tighten these up. Oh, nice, I didn't even see that. That's sick. A little grab strap on the back of the cuff here. Is it connected to the liner? 
Yes, it is. Interesting. We'll go ahead and pull the liner out. If I can figure out how to work these things. Boy, I'm having a hard time with this. There we go. Okay. And we'll just shove this back in here. I'm not sure if the liner is... Okay, so it is separate. Yeah, interesting. So there's the liner. Got some nice ventilation holes. Really stiff tongue there. Feels like some stretchy kind of neoprene-ish upper. Kind of stretchy. Pretty standard bottom, some more ventilation holes. Looks like some kind of suede type stuff they got going on there. Maybe for a little... Yep. So these things are somewhere around 20 years old. The ad said on eBay, they said that there is their 2001, so that would make them a full 21 years old. Let's see these Bub Max, or what they call these. The special insoles, holy cow. Okay, so we have two of them in here. We have a Kaiser, Kaiser? Yeah, Kaiser Air Sole, which is in great shape, all things considered after 21 years. And then the USD Bub Max. Bublax? This is fascinating. Kind of a gel heel pad here, some kind of reinforced arch support, some ventilation holes. I'm not sure if these are used or are meant to be used in conjunction with each other. That's what it seems like. And on the inside, a nice big fat shock absorber. High impact, dual high impact absorber, dual density. Interesting. Okay, so we'll take a look at it. What does it say? 42, 43. Dual density, you can see this is a much firmer kind of rubber than uh, the surrounding. So that's interesting. Hmm. With the, is it Cyrus logo? Is that, it's just the Cyrus logo? Is that specific to the Cyrus? I'm not sure. Or is that like an old, the old USD logo? I don't know. I'm losing my mind right now, I think. Anyway, we'll put that, actually we'll take a look inside the shell. All the non-UFS hardware. Definitely kept the branding pretty consistent. Oh, interesting. So that kind of, if you can see that Cyrus logo or USD logo down in there, kind of tough to see, but that looks like it mates up with the this sort of indentation on the heel pad to help keep it together. So it mates up to that, so that's pretty cool. And then on the shell here, they have these interesting like lacing brackets here. Not sure exactly what those are for other than to Pop the tongue out. I'm not sure exactly the function of those aside from that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you have it. 2001, I think. Kevin Gillen. USD Cyrus. Unboxing. Gotta love it. Couple scuffs, but nothing crazy, man. Someone rolled around in these for a few minutes and then they just sat for a long time. So, cool. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be skating these. If I can get my foot in them anyway. If I can't, maybe we'll just give these things away. We'll see. Um, anyway, if you did like the video, consider giving a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you did like the video. And with that, Rollerbooters, stay tuned. We're going to be skating these and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.